Okay, today we're going to do a video on uh, the, precision, the Yellow Jacket Precision Torque Wrench. And there goes the model numbers and UPC number. Uh, the good thing about this Yellow Jacket tool is that it comes with both metric and universal kit. I'm going to turn this around. And you're going to use this mostly with uh, flaring. So I have some flares here. That's 3 8 flare. Quarter inch. Quarter inch flare. And yellow jacket flaring tool. This thing makes your life easy. So we're going to talk about the tool and how to actually use it. Because I had trouble using the tool when I first started using it and it's really not that difficult so this is for the guys that are gonna uh, the apprentices who want to learn how to use this and uh, pretty sure do-it-yourselfers are gonna want to know about this it's gonna prevent uh, refrigerant leaks it's gonna have better outcome for your for your um, wrenching for your flares flare nuts uh, so let's go go ahead and get started uh, the first thing you want to do is figure out if you're you want to go to your chart on the actual uh, case um, so in this case we you we're using for uh, for our ductless units we usually use a quarter inch 3 8 so that's what I'm gonna start with if you start getting into your three ton or four ton, um, you might use half inch, five eighths. But today we're just gonna do three, um, half quarter inch and three eighths. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna have my assistant help me with this. She's gonna um, help me with the camera. So, I think this is the most confusing um, part of the the tool is setting it where you where you're gonna set it. Can you get a picture of that? So this is the of uh, uh, pounds per feet of pressure that it's gonna give you. So um, so you, the first thing you do is go to your quarter inch. Flare nut wrench size, 5 eighths, 16, yellow jacket number 16. So you go to your head, are you getting the number? Mm -hmm. 16, and that fits nicely, that's the size for the quarter inch flare. Now, I, w one thing I don't like about this, is if you get the heavy duty flare nuts, none of these are going to work for you. So you might have to get a different set. Um, that's just one, uh, one of the cons. But uh, if you're using these flares, the regular standard flare flare nuts, uh, it should work pretty um, pretty well. So once you get that, once you go to your chart and you get the size picked out of your head, which is 16 for a quarter inch, um, that's standard metric. We're not really going to use metric. Uh, sometimes on the Fujitsu's or the Mitsubishi's, it depends. You might use uh, a metric size, but I don't have the actual flare nuts for that type for the heads for the air handlers. So we're going to stick to these guys. Uh, so what you're going to do is there's a little uh, there's a lip here. You want to match that up with the uh, with the orifice in here you're gonna push it in that locks it in place and then if you want to remove that there's a tool that comes in the kit are you getting that what you do is push in and it releases so locks it in place and that releases it so don't lose that 
and then so then you go back to your chart and this is where it gets kind of tricky um you go quarter inch 5 8 16 torque torque 13 foot per pound forget about the torque on uh, the new ints we don't use that we could but it's a pain in the ass so I would just stick with the uh, foot per pound so you go back to your tool make sure it's on foot per pound um, so the first thing you want to do is unlock it which you slide this down and that allows you to adjust your your torque with this handle here so you decrease when you're going to the left and you increase when you're going to the right so since we want 13 foot per pound i need you to zoom in here we're going to go to 11 that's 11 and you match it up with zero but since you want 13 you're gonna have 11 plus 2 so 1 2 so that's 13 and then you lock it in place and you're good to go that's 13 foot per pound now say for instance you're you're going to torque this nut onto this union this coupling you have your backup branch here this is your torque wrench So you adjust it and you crank until you hear that. You can hear the <clears throat> the tool actually. You're gonna hear it start snapping, and that's telling you it's it's already at uh, 13 foot per pound. So you don't want to over tighten or keep going after that because your flare will crack. But you can hear that that means you're pretty you're pretty good okay so uh, just so we get another idea we can do the 3 eighths so we go back to the chart back to the chart go to 3 eighths 13, 16, 21. Can you please zoom in here? Can you see? So the 21, this is uh, this is the head 21. So you're gonna snap it in place like we did before. Except this time we're gonna adjust the torque. What it asked for is 30. So Add another unit here. Sorry, guys. What's that other unit that I had? Okay, here we go. So, chart, 3 eighths nut, tube size 3 eighths, flare nut size 13 16 inch, uh, yellow jacket number 21, which we have here, torque 30. So we go back to our foot per pound, and this time we're going to increase it. So, can you zoom in here? 
So we're getting close. We have a 29.5. So we're going to get up there to 29.5. Twenty nine point five and we add a point five to point five. So first we set the zero to twenty nine point five and in order to get to thirty we increment a point five and you lock it in place by pushing up. Unlock down. You lock it in place and we push up. It also tells you on the actual tool. So once again, we do a little example of how to actual torque it. How to torque it, you back up wrench. This one's a little tougher. Give me my right hand. Ready? There it is. Okay. So, uh, so that's how you uh, actually torque it correctly. And I might be off by a little bit, but that's you get the idea. Uh, it's important to use the, the torque wrench. That way you don't have any leaks on your on your refrigerant lines. Uh, you can also add some uh, liquid they sell at Johnstone, but some manufacturers don't uh, recommend that. They actually void the warranty if they find that stuff on it, but it does help seal the leaks. Just don't overdo it when you put it on threads. And it's not your regular pipe dope, it's something else. But, uh, but that's pretty much how to use the, the torque wrench. And stick around for the next video. We're going to show you how to use the um, yellow jacket uh, flaring tool. So with these two guys, you're going to be able to install your ductless unit. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Hit subscribe. Like the video. Uh, I know I have a lot of work to do on this, but I hope, you, I hope this helps you. Um, I didn't find many videos on this, so hopefully this gives you a, a hand on your, your project. Thank you.